Hey guys, how you doing? Hi. This is Osamo here, and, and I got Paul. I kind of woke him up in the middle of that, but but uh, uh, I just want to tell you, <laughs> I just want to show you this one thing. This character just got me laughing, man. Yeah, before yeah. he even starts. <laughs> I want I want to show you this one clip because um we got a, I got a footage of a woman oh. rebuking this tornado coming down, and you know there's been a lot of tornadoes happening and uh the midwest and and taking down people's houses and stuff like that were tornado seasons but uh you know jesus uh rebuked the storm and stuff and and uh here's a woman that that took authority over her house and her town and rebuked it and what happened was this tornado went away uh that's how the story goes but you got to see this and my brother saw some stuff on the tornado it's kind of interesting and and we'll, we'll we'll show you this clip quick and and then uh you can let let us know what we think on that, but here it goes. So so she was like rebuking this thing off of her her house and her town right outside in front of it. And uh you know what I I think it's important we need to do stuff like that. We need to rebuke stuff that comes against our way cuz these are principalities that come against just like how Jesus rebuked stuff. But you saw something huh, brother on on that tornado. Uh, uh, well we'll go back to it in a second, but I just want to set this up before we go back to it no, in a second. Ahead, I want to go through back to a second. I take that lady's voice off, and we'll talk talk over it. Okay. Uh, one of the things I remember is when there was a time that Jesus was in the boat with his disciples, and they went out to the middle of the sea, and uh, I guess they were fishing or whatever it was, and uh, they were just sailing across the sea, and all of a sudden it got real dark and and, 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 and real cloudy and stuff, and. I, Jesus was taking a nap, you know, he, you know, he had a long day and he, just, he, was, he was laying down, you know, and sleeping. And then all of a sudden the winds and, and, the, and the clouds just got bigger and the waves start turning and tossing. And the, and, and the disciples were saying, gee, what's going on here? And they couldn't handle it. They started fearing. And so they woke up Jesus and Jesus woke out of a sound sleep. And they said, look, 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 look what's happening. He says, and he looks at him and he goes, Man, you with little faith. And so he stands up and he rebukes the sea in the whole area. That's right. With his hand, he speaks out against this. And one of the things I want to bring up is he said, remember this too, brother. The Lord says, you'll do greater things than I. That's right. That's so right. we have the authority to, to speak to cyclones, to earthquakes, the tsunamis, whatever it is. And have authority of it. And also the Lord's bringing this to me. When you tell a, move, a mountain to move, it can move. That's right. It looks like it's for his world. And I don't think it's just, just for mountains in your life. He said, he, if he would have said, no, just things in your life, that's it. That'd be one thing. But he says, you'll move mountains. That's when you right. speak to the mountains, be moved, it shall be moved. So we have the authority down here. We just don't exercise it enough. So going back to that clip, if you will notice here, I think it's towards when the... Uh, you gonna set up the clipper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you, they're like these black, they're like these, they look like uh, like you know shadows of when you're in like second grade. You made the president's uh, head and stuff, and they were black and they were like silhouettes. Right. Well, if you look right. to the middle of the cloud, you'll see like two like two people conversing or talking together, or two beams. Mm. And, and then it shows other beams. It looks like an angel, but it's like a, a black. And they look like like shadows inside the, the white cloud. Now here it comes uh, coming up. It's coming up here. I don't know if you can pause it there. Not yet. See those black 
figures right there, right in the middle, right there. It looks like two people. See, like, brother, could you bring your cursor around those black ones and see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Now show just the outline yeah. of it, cool. the outline. See, oh. right in there. That looks like that might be, you know, like when you used to look E.T.? That's yeah. what it looks like there. <laughs> it's like E.T. But yeah. if you go to the other one, if you go to the other one, it looks like somebody conversing with it. Can we just, uh, now we'll just speed up the, uh, uh, just go ahead and regular play it. Now, right there, stop right there. That to me looks, it looked kind of like an angel. See where the outline is over to that looks like an X? Mm -hmm. Like right there. That looked kind of like an angel to me, but go ahead and go further and see if we can see more. That's about the end of tape there, I think. Okay. But if you if you go back to the start, it looks like two people conversing with each other. Yeah, like a, like a fight, like a right? Fight, right? Or, or yeah, it's like it might be a fight. It might be the angel against the demon. Say the demon say, saying, "No, I'm going to settle it down here." And that lady's putting her hand out there, rebuking it. Right. And the angel right. saying, "No, ain't. It's not going there." That's right. That's right. So you know. Hmm. But the I'm just going back to what the Lord says when He was in that boat and how He rebuked the seas and calmed you know, calm the whole air and everything around it. That's right. And then we said, "When you say to a mountain, be moved; it shall be moved." And this lady was speaking authority over that that that, that cloud, yeah, or that yeah. storm, and it moved. That's right. That's right. And, and, and she's a nobody out there. I mean, you know, she's a regular lady. I mean, come on, man. She's just. Just make an authority. And this, we got to do people, if you know the Lord and you have the spirit on you, you have the authority to go out there and rebuke oh, things. That's right. That's you right. have the same authority as Jesus Christ. It doesn't mean that you are Jesus Christ. What it means is you have the authority because he gave you the authority. Mm. That's right. That's right. You know, brother, you yeah. know, I, I don't know if I ever told you a story, but um, during the, the fires, Remember when they had the fires at the Laguna fires and the LA fires and stuff? Well, I was in up up in Malibu or Topanga area, and I remember when that fire came down and I was rebuking that fire. I said, "You will not come down to my house at all," and and I rebuke you, be cast in the sea, and that's what happened. It, Amen. Really, it See, was like a, it was an angelic thing. That and, and but the problem is, brothers, a lot of people they don't believe that. You know, they say, "Oh, well, that's just you know, it just moved because of the wind, the way it pushed." No, when you speak authority and you speak it into being, it is. It's happening as you're speaking. That's right. You need to do as as the body of Christ, or whoever believes in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You need to take authority. And that's over everything. That's principalities and powers. That's right. Now, a lot of people, you don't want to get heavy into this. Oh, well, when, when are you going to get it? Did Jesus sit there and say, okay, well, no, you can't rebuke this, and you can't rebuke that because that's too powerful. Now, I'm going to call myself Jesus, but I am a part of him. I'm, I'm grafted in by him. I'm grafted in by his blood. So if I'm a part of his blood, I should have the authority, too. Mm, He's right. given me that authority. And that's what we want you guys to know. When You know, you can speak to things as they weren't, and, and they will be. Mm. But you have to believe in your spirit and your heart that it's going to happen. That's right. You can't waver. You know, you can't come to God without faith and please Him. He yeah. wants to see that faith. He yeah. wants you to be. He wants you to. Well, he says, "Come boldly before My throne." That's right. So if He's telling you before His throne, how much more power can you go to the oh. earth and say, "It shall stop"? Ooh. We oh. have that authority. That's right. That's you have right. to use it. Oh. Oh, that's right, brother. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, <clears throat> and I am I and speak to the word. Show that foot one more time, bro. Okay, I'm gonna show it back there, brother. Get in the spirit. There's some people out there who say, Yeah, but I'm for Paul. Oh, but Paul's just look at it. Look at this lady rebuking it. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> You know, brother, you're right, though. You know, I, there it I, is. I used to <clears throat> to stop it. Oh, well, you passed it up. It's too late now. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I think they Sorry. got. I think they got your point on that one, brother. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, this this uh, you know, that storm should have made a touchdown already. And uh, she's like rebuking it and saying, "Get out of here!" Basically. Oh, that's it. That's right. That's right. I'm right. That's right. And you know what, brother? You know, um, and I should be doing this even more. I mean, like, uh, you should be rebuking any uh, winds or storms that may come around your house. Well, and, give uh, case in point. You know what? Me and you went out about a month ago or less than a month ago. And we went to somewhere where this, this pr prophetic person was, was, was speaking at. And you happened uh, uh, that, that night, your, your car stalled on you. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. We just went out there, and we left the car there. And, uh, we, you know, we were talking. We are coming back. Well, I hope it starts up, this and that. We said, well, we'll pray over it. So we went and prayed over it, and it started up just like that. We that's called right. it out in the name of Jesus, and it started up just like that. Yeah, that's right. Now, some people was, oh, yeah, but the gas, you know, it just was flooded. And you know what? I rebuke all that <laughs> stuff. I go out there and I say authority over it. It's going to work that's because right. I believe. And you have to believe the same way. Mm. Whether it's your maybe relationships in your in your, your family, whatever's going on with your your kids and yourself, or maybe you have colds or whatever it is, I mean, a lot of times we give up too soon. We pray, but we give up too soon. We think it's not going to work, and when you do that, you put doubt. People, we have that authority to move in the spirit like that. Oh. We have the authority to take over things. Oh, anyway. that's right, brother. Yeah. Well, well, that's all we want to say to you because uh, it's getting late. But, <laughs> yes, yeah. but the scripture I want to say is, is Ma um, Mark eleven twenty four, I believe, where it says that you have, if you have faith in God, you shall say to this mountain, "Be cast into the sea," and it shall be done for you. So that's the authority we have as a believer. You know, I'm talking about small things or big things. It doesn't matter. But we have authority over that stuff. And we need to take authority. We need to start taking authority and taking that sword and say, get out of here. And you know, if you can't do with big things like this lady did with that big old tornado, this is what you can start up with something small. Hmm. So you can build your faith to believe. Hmm. Something small. Hmm. Something that you know that the Lord would but say, okay, let's try out just just real small. Try that. <laughs> See if it don't work for you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. <laughs>